welcome in the crypto garden jokes aside guys in today's video i want to have a talk with you about something i think is very important something that i really want to share but also i want to check if i can influence your viewpoint on certain things based on hermetic principles in today's video i want to talk about one hermetic principle and why this principle is so important to understand in order to predict the outcome of the markets and to not be surprised by what is going on on the news and that is the principle of causation there is cause and effect every effect has a cause and every cause has a effect and how can i explain this in the best way i, th I thought about it a long time but normal people let's say the majority of the people out there they will say and i want to i want to bring out the ftx uh, crash i want to take that as an example into this video because a lot of people will watch the news and they will say like okay well ftx crashed we have seen it all over the news that's why bitcoin went down and that's why bitcoin have seen a capitulation event and i'm i'm going to argue that that's not the case it is the FTX crash is not the root cause of why Bitcoin crashed, made a bottom and seen a capitulation event. The FTX crash is merely the effect of the cause. And the cause is the wheel of time that is spinning and is a law that is governing our universe, which is making sure that everything goes in a cyclical pattern goes in a rhythmic pattern and now i i would say i think a lot of people uh watches they will be confused like okay but what do you mean like ftx crash and we see the price going down right yeah that's true i get that but how is it possible think about this because this will maybe open your mind how is it possible that someone already four years ago can make a prediction based on time that we are going to see a four-year cycle low around December 2022. Is it, in your opinion, pure coincidence or chance that at that same moment FTX crashes and that it happens? I don't think so. I don't think it is a coincidence. It is not a chance. This is the wheel of time spinning and for the things that we don't under if we don't understand it as a human being if we cannot comprehend what's going on because how could he know that how could how could you based on time knew this and this and that you will say it's coincident everything you don't understand you will say it is coincident while it actually has a cause it had a cause it had and it ha has a effect that's also the reason for example why i don't watch the news the news is always the effect the news is never the cause right and if you always focus on the effect that means you are reactive right you walk you wake up that day and you see what's going on on the news and you react to that but you react on the effect you're not interacting with the cause because if you understand and interact with the cause you can already know what's going to happen way before you don't know exactly what is going to happen but you know based on time whether there is a high likelihood for a low whether there is a high likelihood for a bull market whether there is blah 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 like we are no um, traders are no different in that like we have seen it also in ancient societies because how can you analyze time how can you see the will of time where we are in the will of time the only way to see that back in the days the only way ancient uh, societies could do that is by looking up looking up to the stars because when you are seeing certain con constellations above you in the stars you can know in which time you are and that is exactly what they did and that is exactly why they built certain statues why all of their statues is based on uh, the constellations in the stars ancient ancient statues like the pyramids like the, the mayan temples and so on 
So guys, this is just something I wanted to talk with you about in today's video. The law of causation. You can read about it in the Kabbalion. I've read this book for the first time in 2019. But I think it is. it gives a great perspective on the markets, on the perspective of cause and effect. But it gives also a great life perspective in how you can influence your life in a positive way. Right? I want to first want to go back to the markets. And that is the Shemitah cycle. I've published this in the year 2000, uh, 20, sorry, 2020. Where I actually said like, okay, starting from September 2021 till September 2022, we are going to see a one year decline. Decline in the stock markets, decline in Bitcoin. That happened. Of course, when I when I said when I made that prediction, uh, I haven't positioned myself 100% for that. But it did happen. Is that coincidence or not? I don't think so. Is it coincidence that every correction, every recession, every big crash in the regular financial markets happens in a Shemitah year, in the seventh year of a Shemitah cycle. I don't think it, I don't think it's, uh, it is a coincidence. This is just the wheel of time showing us how a cyclical pattern, which is being expressed in human behavior, human emotions, human development, but also in the financial markets. And that is exactly the reason a lot of people ask me the question like, how can you be bullish? How can you right now be bullish with, the, with all the macro events that are going on? Well, like I said earlier in this video, the news is the effect. So I'm not listening to the news. Right, I'm just trying to make a prediction or look where we are in the markets based on time. So I'm not looking at the news. The news can be super negative, but I can still be very positive. Why? Because time is showing me that the negative time, the time of the Schmidt cycle has passed. We are entering to, uh, 2023, which is looking bullish based on time, based on a 16 year cycle, based on other cycles as well. So therefore I can be bullish while the news or other effects might be still bearish. And of course I can always be wrong, right? Definitely. But what I've learned from my experience, and that's also what I want to uh, follow in my life, right? I want to do everything based on my own judgment and own experience. I've experienced by myself that if I analyze certain um, uh, certain price predictions on S&P 500 or market conditions, if I analyze it based on time, I'm more successful than analyzing it based on price. And I'm definitely more successful by than analyzing it based on news. Take the 2019 bottom. This was the four year cycle low. There were analysts, there were certain analysts predicting this was going to happen. How could they potentially know that at this spe that specific month in 2019, we are going to see a cycle low? Are they just lucky? Is it coincidence? I don't think so. Because right now we have seen a repetition of the cycle exactly the same. So I don't believe in coincidence. I, I think it's a cyclical pattern. I think most people don't under, understand that because they are too focused in the shorter term time frame. And I think you're missing out if you're doing so. And I think it is important that you zoom out and look at the cyclical, uh, cyclical or rhythm, rhythmic pattern that we are seeing in the regular financial markets. And if you can recognize that, I think you can be a very successful trader because you're working with the cows instead of effects you you are not reactive you are proactive and this also comes to life right if you wake up in the day and you say like i'm going to react on anything that's going to happen to me so i'm going to open the tv when i see something negative on the news i'm going to be reactive the whole day is a you are living in a survival mode right you're not living because you are being lived because you you don't recognize you don't recognize that you that you can actually plant causes which will have an effect you are the effect of another cause right so if you can plant your own causes you can make for example good deeds or you can for example train for a six pack or you can learn a certain language or you can do any kinds of stuff but you can 
plant those seeds, be the cause, and you will enjoy a certain effect. Everything that you do, every thought that you have, every action that you do has a certain effect. That's also why it is so important that you, um, if you can, that you are doing good deeds in the world. Because every good deed that you do will have an effect, will have a good effect. A good effect on others and a good effect on you. And doing bad deeds will give you a bad effect. And yeah, I think that is the same as in the markers. And I think this is uh, a very good book that I've read, the Kibalion. And let me read you guys a little, little introduction from the law of causation. And this is, this is just quite, it's just interesting, right? To look at the markers this way, because it gives you a extra dimension of depth. If you just like focus on the shorter term time frame and you just like, oh, triangle formation, this and this and that, you're only looking at the structure of the price. Well, I, I don't think that's enough, to be honest, if you want to be a professional or profitable trader. I think if you do regular technical analysis, it is, it is like looking at the world in a 2D matter. If you apply derivatives exchange data, like we are giving you on Will Portal, I think this is already showing you a 3D analysis. It's showing you a 3D version of the markets. Why? Because you got another dimension. You got another dimension which gives you information on where the markets go. But if you can be aware of the bigger cyclical movements and rhythmic events in the markets, this will give you a 4D, 4D world, which will clearly help you tremendously in becoming a profitable trader and knowing what to do and don't be the effect of the events that happen in the world. All the events that's happening right now in the world, they were already written in time ages ago. We just we just in the part of the time of the wheel where these things are happening and how that is manifested and is expressed that we can see in the real world, right? But that that we are going through a turbulent time was already written ages ago. It is already written in the stars. Let me read to you this, guys. Every cause has it, every cause has its effect. Every effect has its cause. Everything happens according to law. Chance is but a name for law not recognized. There are many planes of causation, but nothing escapes the law. And this is the same law which causes certain human behavior at certain times. This is the same law that causes the markets to go from extreme up to extreme down. This law is governing the universe and this is the cause of everything that happens. And you can find that cause by looking at time. You cannot find that cause by looking at the news because the news is the effect. And this is the exact reason how I can remain bullish when the news or all the macro events or everyone is pointing towards a bearer scenario. I'm not saying I have the truth. I'm not saying that I'm 100% right. But this is how I can still remain bullish with all the clouds of negativity hanging around the markets right now guys i hope you enjoyed this video if so make sure to leave a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new if you want me to answer or talk about some more questions or maybe about some more hermetic principles let me know in the comment section down below i want to thank you all for watching i love you all very much and i hope to see every single one of you in the next video